Hi guys, today I'm going to chop the tops and propagate my Echeveria blue toad hybrids. So I have my sterile scissors out already and I'm starting to chop the tops. These are probably about three years old. I've gotten quite a few propagations off of these guys. So I'm going to chop all five here. And I'm going to set them to the side. Now I have everything I need already set up to the side. I have my pot down below. I have some soapy water you're going to see in a few minutes. And you can see in the corner that rooting hormone. Now all the tops are gone. I'm going to stay, save the stems, the bases, because they will grow new rosettes. And I'm going to bring up that bucket of soapy water right there. It's a little bit of Dawn dish soap and some rubbing alcohol to make sure there are no aphids or are no mealybugs or anything harmful that are on those rosettes. They were pretty clean. There was a little bit of station um, that I sprayed for maybe two weeks ago. Pretty sure they were already dead. And dried up, but just to make sure. I actually do this with any new cutting, any store bought cutting, um, any new plant. I will actually do this full uh, fledged dunking in the soapy water to get rid of any new bugs. That's the one that I was a little bit worried about. Getting it nice and clean. Now I'll put my water back. I'll save that for some other plants later on. And that's my rooting hormone. I use anything I can get my hands on normally. If I don't have rooting hormone, I will use cinnamon as well. Works almost just as well. So I'm putting that on the fresh cut base. Normally with succulents, you want the power. Um, I'm not going to let these callus because they're going into dry soil. And I'm actually dusting them so it's going to help them seal them up. The dry soil and dusting them helps keep the moisture out. So they seal them up and then when it's ready for rooting, it'll start seeking out the roots. Seeking out moisture. There's my pot. I already had ready for it with a dry succulent blend. I shove them right in. Succulents like it kind of tight. Um, keeps them nice and small. Uh, these were separated. That's why the stems were so long. But these I'm going to stick in there and I won't water until the leaves start getting a little bit squishy. Because that tells me they're starting to work on the moisture that they have trapped in the leaves. And then by that time, if the leaves are starting to get moisture, there's a good chance they're throwing out roots down below. And watering them will firm those leaves right back up. And you'll have a beautiful new, somewhat arrangement. Docked to myself. This is what I do to the stems. Because I am going to keep the stalks. It's cinnamon. It's going to help dry off the cut. Seal it from any bacteria, any bugs that are going to get in there. And now without rosettes on those stalks, it's going to put energy into my roots. And so within a couple of weeks, I did see new rosettes on every single one of those stems. And I'll be able to go through the same process again. And I'll have new Echeveria blue toad hybrid.